Hello and welcome to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we're reviewing the Flashforge Guider 2S, a entry level industrial slash education grade machine. So let's take a look at some of the statistics, some of the stats of this. Uh, the print volume is 280 by 250 by 300. Uh, the direct drive hot end will go up to 300 degrees. The bed will go up to 120. It has auto bed leveling. It has uh, a filtration system and is fully enclosed. So printing ABS is not an issue. Uh, you can print spool holders for the back or simply run your spools off of a, a, a desktop spool holder. So spool filament size is a non-issue for this machine. Um, it has power resume failure and, and all of that good stuff. You still use the flash print firmware and software with it. Um, that lets you, that gives you access to certain features like the Wi-Fi camera and the cloud printing as well. So this is a real click and forget machine. Once you get this out of the box, it's already all basically set up for you. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a little bit of calibration to go through, which is detailed in the quick guide. And very quickly, you will be producing very nice models with it. So, let's take a look at some of the things this has printed. So, as you can see, some of the first things we did was um, some vase mode stuff. Um, this is printed in uh, Reflow's Pet G. Really, really nice Pet G, and it's 100, well, like 98.5% recycled. Um, came out really nice and clear. Not, I mean, almost optically clear, and it came out really, really nice. Um, we've also done some thicker ones as well. These are, so these are printed in a carbon fiber filament. Um, these are really cool because these are printed from the Miele website. So Miele recently um, released a large number of uh, their tool head accessories for their hoovers on their site as free STLs, also spare parts for their um, for their hoovers as well that are all 3D printable. And you can see that these are really very, very nice, beautiful finishes, really nice on that. Can go a little bigger, we printed a thing um, that, uh, that came out really nicely. And then we also did a model um, this one is a uh, obviously a Joker mask statue that we then just covered in some gold rub and buff. Um, that came out really nicely as well. So, what's the price on a machine like this? Well, excluding VAT, it's £1,299, um, and including VAT, it's £1,558. If you don't need uh, dual extrusion, um, then if you did, you'd go for something like the Creator 3. But if you don't need dual extrusion, this is a fantastic machine to put in a school, to put in a university, to start doing some entry level industrial stuff. It will do the majority of filaments that you need it to. I say the, the, the hot end will go up to 300 degrees and it's all metal and it's direct drive. So that gives you a very wide range of options of things you can print. Including VAT, it's 1,558 pound, which is twice the build volume and half the price of an Ultimaker 3. In fact, it's more like a third of the price of an Ultimaker 3. Um, the quality, as you can see, is genuinely really, really good. Um, I'm super impressed with it as a machine. We've had it for a little while now. It's going back to, um, it's going back to Filoprint to join their print farm. Um, Filoprint are selling these on their website now. I highly recommend you go over and check them out. Um, they are gradually starting to stock more and more machines as, uh, as time goes on. These are obviously uh, targeted at the educational side, but definitely check them out for their filament so, um, stuff because, I mean, it's the only place we buy any of our filament from. And, uh, and keep an eye on the website because there may be some consumer level stuff coming soon. Thanks guys.